Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I'm back again with another video and this time we will have a quick look at Portrait Pro 19, a fast and easy portrait editing software. Is it any good? Stick around and see for yourself. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I continue, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to get notified on future videos. So Portrait Pro 19 is from a company called Anthropix. They have a lineup of other photo editing software like Portrait Pro Body, Landscape Pro, and Smart Photo Editor. By the way, just a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored just in case you were wondering. Portrait Pro 19 is claiming that it's the world's easiest portrait enhancement software. Could it compete with the manual, very tedious, time-consuming, and high-end retouching process done by professional retouchers? We'll find out. So it says that Portrait Pro works in a completely different way to ordinary airbrushing and photo editing software. It also says that the software is trained in human beauty, so you can edit your photos as much as required. It is also claiming that expert photo editing can be achieved by unskilled users in minutes and you can enhance faces as much as you want simply by moving sliders. Okay, so let's put it to the test, shall we? Let's open up a photo from yet another portrait free-for-all photo editing contest on Instagram. There have been a lot of editing contests on Instagram lately because of this stay-at-home social distancing situation that's going on right now. This is from Feminine Portraiture. Link to his Instagram account down on the description. By the way, Portrait Pro can be used as a standalone software or a Photoshop plugin. I'm using the latest version, which is 19.6. So for now, let's just open the photo directly in Portrait Pro. By the way, the software can open both RAW and JPEG images, so that's good. At this stage, the software is automatically scanning for a face and try to determine if it's male, female, or child. In this case, it was smart enough to determine that the subject was a female. And then, an automatic preset has already been applied to the photo. Let me show you the before and after. And here is a side-by-side -side look. Personally, I would not trust the automatic preset. I prefer retouching it manually with the available sliders. As you can see here, there are sections or parts that you can enable and manipulate. There is also another tab here for the presets. So these are one click and forget about it edits if you're being lazy and all. So the changes of each preset is quite dramatic. Now let's reset all the changes and navigate to the sections right here and try to do a manual edit. Let's start with the topmost which is the face sculpt. Let me move the master slider right here. So what it does is, it tries to slim the face and make sure that the eyes are proportioned and the nose is straight. Basically, it automatically warps the face to what the software thinks is beautiful. So there are individual sliders here to change the size and position of the eyes, eye whitening, etc. Here's a before and after. Let's go to the next section which is skin smoothing. I'll slide the master fade to the right until it looks good. So this is the before, after. So again, there are other sliders here to retouch different parts of the face. I'm not going into detail as this is just an overview. There is also a brush tool here similar to the spot healing brush tool in Photoshop where you can remove pimples and other blemishes. The next section is the skin lighting and coloring panel. Here you can add digital lighting to the subject's face, adding more shadows and highlights. You can make it more contrasty or faded. You can adjust the size and angle of the light as well. Do you notice the difference? We now go to the makeup panel. Here, you can tweak the color of the lipstick, add mascara, eyeshadow, you get the idea. So adding digital makeup has never been this quick and easy. Let me just play around with the sliders here real quick. So this is with the original makeup. This is the digital makeup. Okay, the next section is the eye panel. I'll move the master fade and see the effect. So this panel tries to enhance the eyes by brightening the iris and cleaning the white part of the eye. 
You can also change the eye color or add contact lenses. Pretty cool. As for the mouth and nose panel, here you can whiten and clean the teeth as well as do other adjustments to the nose and lips. Personally, I wouldn't touch these unless necessary. So let's skip to the next section. Moving on to the hair panel. Let's go crazy and change the hair color to something striking. It did an amazing job selecting and masking the hair. This would have been difficult to do in Photoshop. So this is the before, this is the after. Another section is the picture panel, where you can adjust the overall look of the photo. Let's adjust the auto levels a little bit. So this is the before and after. So we pretty much edited this photo just entirely in Portrait Pro. What are your thoughts? Let me just zoom in and let's compare the final edit to the original photo. Now the last section is called Layers where you can change the background of the image. I think it's just a gimmick and the software is not smart enough to mask out the subject from the background. You be the judge here. Alright guys, so this is Portrait Pro. Portrait Pro 19 to be exact. Is this the kind of software that you would use and add to your editing workflow? Or is Photoshop enough for you? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you ask me, I would prefer the old school skin retouching process in Photoshop. Keep in mind that I just demonstrated how the software works, so this edit might seem too much. But like I said on my last video, when editing portraits, do not overdo it. I think this software is intended for creative portrait editing where you can sculpt the face and add digital makeup. If you are curious and want to try out this software, there's a 7 day free trial. Just go to their website and download it. I will put the link down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to be notified when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there.